I've got some awesome news for you, fellas. So we've just released our own game called Garage 54, which precisely corresponds with our own story. You can go ahead and log on and start with a modest garage, begin producing some small-scale vids, work on a few humble cars, and gradually build your way up from there. Grow just like we did back in the day. Hire a camera crew and some mechanics, move into a new garage, buy yourself some new equipment, edit some videos, grow a huge fan base. Get around to doing a few serious project cars, which you can then proceed to enter into races with other players. So yeah, basically the game is a reflection of our own journey. You can download the game for both iOS and Android devices. You'll find all the links in the video description. So go ahead and have a look, download the game, install it onto your phone, and have a ball. Wooden crankshaft. Will it work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Hey there, fellows. Remember this car right here? It's already been subject to a bunch of experiments, so we've decided to dismantle the thing. And while we were at work, a certain thought occurred to us. A bunch of people are asking us to do wooden pistons, but we have tried that before, and you certainly would have seen how that went. We also made a wooden clutch and a bunch of other stuff. But a few requests were for making a wooden crankshaft. I can't quite imagine how something like that would work, plus it's not an easy thing to fabricate by any means. But we're not ones to shy away from a challenge, so I say we go ahead and make a wooden crankshaft. So we'll concede to that one, and let's do this. Okay, fellas, check this out. We've made us a crankshaft out of wood. We did have to glue it together, since we have no way of making one out of a whole piece of wood. And so, yeah, we had to piece one together. Okay, so this is what we got. All right. You slap it in here, and it fits beautifully. Very nice. Now there's the matter of assembling the motor. And the main issue now would be to figure out how to mount a flywheel onto this crank. Another consideration is where to mount the sprocket. It's supposed to be right here and... Uh... Oh wait, looks like I screwed this up. This is how it's meant to be seated. We've got the flywheel over there and right here we have the sprocket that drives... the timing chain. It seems simple enough, but as a matter of fact, joining metal and wood together, we do have a couple of options, involving some drilling and installing a few bolts, or maybe some self-tappers. Anyway, we'll think of something and begin putting everything back together. Well, let's get to it.
So here is what we're looking at. We've suspended the motor. It's sitting in the position it's meant to be by nature. That wooden crank is in place. Though we did remove the chain, as we did the camshaft, to keep the valves from touching the pistons. And so now, with the engine under low stress, without the spark plugs, timing chain, without having to open the valves, let's get it rotating. To check whether the crank will even keep it together. It might turn out too weak to push those pistons. I'm super curious to find out, so let's give it a try. I've got a wire right here. You guys ready? All right, let it rip. It is rotating. Okay, so far so good. The crank does rotate. Though I do hear a weird knocking noise. But no worries, I guess. Go have a look at what the sprocket is doing. See that? So with no chain or any other load, it's all looking good. The wooden crank is still in one piece, which is a good thing. Now we put that chain back in, together with the cam, the carb is full, so is the filter, the distributor is in place, so now we... No, I reckon we try it with no plugs. We'll spin it up with the chain in place, with the cam also in place, but without any spark plugs. Take it easy at first. If it can handle that, we'll try starting it for real. Alright, let's do this. So check this out, we've installed the camshaft, as we did the chain, we even got the tension up to spec, and so now, we get to the moment of truth, and see what this assembly does. Now this gear that drives the chain is a bit suspect as to whether it'll hold up, it might very well just stay in place, I mean who knows, there is no lock tab for it to hold on to, right let's just try it out. Okay then. Evidently not. The gear just sits in place. Should we make a slot and put a lock tab in there? Otherwise it's just going to sit there. That self-tapper you put in... Ain't doing shit. We need to lock it in place, man. Yeah, sure. Get it in there a bit deeper. Let's get to work. Yeah, we need to lock this thing in place, otherwise this ain't working. So we'll rectify this quickly and try again. We've got a tab in there, and now the critical part. Do all the marks line up? I guess we'll find out shortly. Let's do this. It works! Isn't that lovely? If I can just... Vladimir, let's throw some plugs in there. I'll find a longer wire. We've got some fuel in there. We just hook everything up and it should start. All right, now we start the motor. With that wooden crank. Somebody put too much gas in. I think I know the culprit. But no worries, I mean... Oh, yeah. Let's try that again. We need to adjust the ignition. Why does it burn instead of running? Well, the crank is made of wood. Yeah, and so what about it?
Так. What is the matter with you? Is everything okay down here? Looks like it. That's nice. It was coughing, so we are getting somewhere. Maybe if I try giving it a drink. Just a little bit. Let's carry on. And we're done. What happened? Something went wrong. That's it. It won't spin. What's the problem? The crankshaft is broken. That's a shame. Maybe on three... Oh, wait, yeah, it won't. The camshaft, of course. It appears to have broken in the spot where it was glued together. I really hope so, anyway. We'll try taking it apart and having a look. And if indeed that's where it broke off, we might try a different adhesive. Stick it back together and try firing it up after all. Let's do this. All right, we've glued it back on. Looking good. Mind the wires so they don't get snagged. Then again, we aren't running any belts, so... Okay, we've hooked everything back up, it's all good. We did our best to adjust the ignition. It's not an easy task with this wooden crankshaft. Hi, wooden crankshaft, take 25. That's a wrap. It's broken. Why does it keep breaking? Same spot. That's it? Where did it break? The entire thing just fell apart. So where does this leave us then? The wood is under such stress that... We are running that sprocket, a camshaft, the chain is under some tension, and that's quite a bit of load. So it's broken again. It would have been nice to fire it up on this wooden crankshaft. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool indeed. It's just that we weren't able to make a crank out of a single piece of wood, so we glued one together. And the glue turned out to be the weak point. At first it was just one spot, and then it crumbled to pieces. Like all of the journals were broken. It's not an easy task, making a wooden crankshaft and using it in a working engine. The first few tries did appear to be successful, we saw it popping away, with the excess gasoline catching fire a few times even. Oh man, we were this close to making it work. We were almost there, man, but we didn't make it in the end. In any case, I am inclined to call this one a success. Given that the motor was coughing, we almost got it to run, man. If you were able to make a crankshaft out of a single piece of wood, which was something that we simply didn't have the machinery or the tools for, go ahead and try making one just for the hell of it. I mean, maybe one of you can get it to work. Now that's something I'd love to have a look at. Everything we did today seems to indicate that it is possible. And that's all I have for you fellows. Watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.